Hello and welcome to LearningEngineer.com where we engineer learning for efficiency. My name is Michael Langdon and today what we're going to do is quick art and inkscape and we're going to draw a bicycle. Now it's really more of a symbol but the point is to show you how shapes can be made into a, a bicycle. So the first thing I want to do is kind of go over with you what we're going to be using to do this. So over here we're going to be using the Draw Bezier Curves and Straight Lines tool. It's right here. It's got like a blue pen. Okay. We're also going to be making some circles. So, those there, so there are our circles. We're going to also be adding some colors, and your color palette is here. It's a right click to put the color in. It's a left click. Whoops. And then you can also set stroke if you left click. So we're also going to be using the flip tool. That's a horizontal flip. There's a vertical flip we may be using, and of course we're also going to be using this to send every things that we make that we need to send to the back to the back. And these are all four of those, but the one we're mostly going to be using is this one here. And then over here we're also going to be using the fill and stroke tool. And you can get that right here under the object menu as well to bring that up. Okay. And we're especially going to be using the stroke style, so there's the width. We're also going to be using these rounded joins and these rounded caps. Okay, so why don't we begin? I wanted to keep it simple and I wanted to show people that most drawing things that you draw are just simple shapes. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually I'm going to bring up some guides. And to get the guides in Inkscape, you just come up to the ruler, you click hold, and then drag it down. So that's where I'm going to begin. And then what I want to do, actually I'm going to move this a little bit. There we go. There we go. So I just want to move that down and then I'm just going to pick the pen tool here and it's just going to draw straight lines. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to make like an M shape. So, there's there, there's there, and then we're going to come back over to this way and click there, and then we're going to double up on this one. And then back over to here. And there's that. Okay, now what we will need to do is we need to look at the stroke and fill because these are just lines. We're just going to keep them lines. The one thing you'd want to do though is you want to change because if watch what happens when I do this. Okay, so you get these points. So we don't want those points, so we're just going to click this and you'll see that it, it takes the points away and what we're left with is a is a pretty decent looking bicycle frame. Okay, so then we can decide what we want to put in from here. Um, we can put in wheels. So let's get some circles here. And I believe if you hold the shift key down, your wheel will expand from the middle. And and there we go. And we probably want to change the color of this, something like that, and we want to send it down so that we can see exactly where that's sitting. <coughs> and I'm just going to shrink this down a little bit. And then we can just duplicate this. And put it there and put it down as well. Okay. And then if we wanted to, we could just go D again. 
lives. And hold shift. now. You just delete them. And that goes there. Okay. And then uh, we can make the petals. And the petals would just be again another line. So we just start from here. And let's just go up like that. And again round, round, and okay. If we wanted, let's zoom in a little bit here. And what we can do is we can just duplicate this. And rotate. Doing is we're making the pedal now. And then what we do is uh, duplicate that, and then we just flip it, and then move it down like this. And then, of course, the one we would want to send it to the back. Okay. And let's zoom out again. So there's there's part of our bicycle. And then from here we want to take uh we want to make another circle for back here to be the basically the hub. And we probably want that to be black on the inside. And then we need another we need a tube here. We need a tube here, so that can just be one line. And if we wanted to, we could. Now nah, let's just draw it. So let's just take this and go boom. Okay, and we're gonna do that. And then of course we're gonna make that nice and thicken that up. And then I'm just gonna duplicate that and flip it. And then just readjust. Oops, I don't want to flip it. And then readjust it here. Okay. And then, of course, that's just a circle. this. Uh, when I first did it, it's a triangle, but we can just we can just do this. And then what we have is we can just kind of elongate that, and then what we can do is just kind of soften it out so that it's kind of got more of a round shape to it. Let's make this a little bit higher. And then we'll just make it black. And So there is our bicycle. Now obviously you could reshape this and redo this with rectangles and add shading and do all kinds of cool stuff, but I just wanted to show you how to draw the basic shape of a bicycle. So this is Quick Art and Instinct, Quick Art in Inkscape with Michael Lang.